Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This is an HP Elite Book 840G3 model and in this video I'm going to cover up step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace the keyboard. Not, yeah, pretty much you do have to open it up. How to, if you have a different style of keyboard, you want a different configuration or different style with the Spanish one, if you want to replace it with an English version or different versions, you can purchase your own version and you can just replace it or different colors even. All right, also if some keys are not working, that's for you guys too. Uh, all right, by replacing the keyboard, you're not gonna change any configuration, anything, everything's gonna be left the same way that you had it, you're just pretty much changing the physical keys. All right, you can't replace the keyboard just like that because there's a few screws that hold it in place. So first thing first, you wanna power off the laptop, you wanna flip it upside down, and you wanna grab yourself uh, a needle. I have one needle right here. Um, with the needle, what you want to do, you want to stick the needle right on the screw covers in here, and you want to lift up these plastics all over the place, except these big ones, two back and two front ones. These legs you don't want to touch. Just remove any covered plastic gummy things that they have over the screws in the middle, back, wherever. Yeah, over time, they do fall off. I am missing a few of them. So you want to remove those. Next, you want to grab a good screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set, Phillips number one. And after that, you want to remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, except one. The one right under the fake SD card reader. So grab the fake SD card that you have here, remove it. And you want to remove this screw here. This is a short screw long, short long, I mean skinny long. And then the rest of the screws are the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching them. You start from one corner and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking a like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. Now that we remove all the screws, there's this screw that is not coming. I'm going to use a tweezer to bring it up. You're going to grab an opening tool or guitar pick, for in my case, and you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest. And you want to twist it like this, and you want to hear a few click sounds. That's what you want to hear. All right, next, you want to put your thumb at the, on the hinge and your finger here, and you want to pull it up on both sides. And once you release it, that's the bottom cover, to put it to one side. All right. Down here, we're gonna remove two screws. One right in here has an even uh, keyboard uh, picture right beside it, and the one right in here. So you're gonna release these two screws. Once you have, you don't need to disconnect the battery, it's not necessary. And once you do that, you wanna lift it up like this. Now you wanna put the opening tool at the back of the keyboard, or at the front, let's see. At the back, you want to put it at the back in here, and then you just want to twist it, work yourself ar around, just work it around, and the tiny hinges that will get released. And you want to lift it up. So, pretty much, I'm going all around and moving around. There's a tiny clip that they do get released. Grab it from the middle so it gives this arc on the side, so it makes it easy to remove the other side. Bring it up and put it in this position. In here, you want to put your fingers at the fingernail under this latch and lift it up 90 degree. I'm going to use this one to show you guys, like that. And then you want to pull out the flex cable. The one in here has a little adhesive. You can put a little alcohol, let's see, on top of the thing and put it right underneath. And there we go, that is it. And remove this latch too, and it slide back the cable. So this is a nipple cable for the nipple mount. We call it a nipple. And the flex cable is right in here. The model for this one, it is an 8198-76-161. You can get the one for your uh, different style, has a different model, just search for yours, the cable has to be like this, a curved cable in here, and a flex cable that goes here. 
They might not give you a flex cable. You might have to reuse this flex cable. And there are some with a backlight. Uh, if you can purchase the one with a backlight, they will have an extra cable that will go right here. So they, this one is compatible with a backlit keyboard. So if you have the one that you purchased, I'll leave the link in the video description if I find one, so you can connect it right in here. To plug in the cable in, this is just a for demonstration. You want to put it in this position. And first, grab this flex cable for here, slide it right in there, and lock it down. And put it there. If you have flex cable for here, plug into your backlit cable jack right there. If not, grab your flex cable for the keyboard, open up the latch, put it in there, and lock the latch over. Make sure it goes in all the way, otherwise some keys are not going to work. There we go. All right, once you have it in there, gently lift it up, bring it like this. First, you want to put the front end under the palm rest. And I'll keep the middle a little higher, about one side, and then I'm going to push the corner so it clicks in. While I'm still holding here, I'm going to push the other side. Hear those nice click sound. And then let go and push the top row gently every few centimeters so you hear those click sounds. Press in the middle, close the screen, flip it upside down. Put the, those two screws that you removed to hold the keyboard in place. All right, and next, you wanna put the bottom cover on, and then you wanna squeeze the corner, the front end, make sure you hear those nice click sounds. Put the screw right under the stick card reader, and start putting up the bottom screw. You start in one corner all the way to the Next corner. Once to, to finish it off, you put the rubber legs over the screws so they don't look ugly. But honestly, they do fall off all the time. I see them, all my clients, they're missing most of them. It's not a big deal. Nobody looks under the laptop. So, again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own keyboard replacement for your HP EliteBook 840 G3 model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws. And put the rubber legs underneath.